in the previous videos you must have seen the the different forms of a line are first is the x axis the equation of x axis is given by y equals 0 the second form is the y axis the equation for y axis is given by x equals 0 equation of any line say x is a constant x as a constant is always a line which is parallel to y-axis say x equals 3 x equals 3 is a line which is at a distance of 3 units from y-axis so x equals 3 is a line you can see that x equals 3 is a line parallel to y-axis at a distance of 3 units it is a line at a distance of 3 units from y-axis and is parallel to y-axis similarly y equals constant y equals constant say y equals 2 it is a line which is parallel to x-axis y equals 2 so here is y equals 2 so y equals 2 is a line which is parallel to x-axis parallel to x-axis and two distant two units at a distance of two units from x-axis fifth form is the slope intercept form F slope intercept form of a line is always written in the form of y equals mx plus b where m is the slope that is the angle which the line makes with the x-axis and b is the intercept it is a point on y-axis where the line cuts it the sixth form of the line is see the point slope form sixth form of a line is the point slope form point slope form point slope form means a line written which has been given a point and which has a slope so the equation is written by y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 using the point and the slope the seventh form of the line is say the two point form two point form if you have been given two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 the equation of the line is given by y minus y1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 then the last form of the line is the standard form standard form of the line is the equation of the line written in the form of ax plus by plus c equals 0 with all the values on the same side of equal to and 0 on the other side of equal to now we'll see how to approach a question if some information is given about the equation then how to start solving a question suppose you have a question which says that the value of m is minus 7 and you have a point x1 y1 which is say 3 and 5 how will you write the equation of a line write the equation of line in standard form now if I look at this question the point and one slope is given so I'll use the point slope form my point slope form says the equation is given by y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1 
x1, y1 is given as 3 and 5. So I'll just substitute x1 as 3, y1 as 5, and m is given as minus 7. So y minus y1 is 5 equals m is minus 7, x minus x1 is given as 3. y minus 5 equals minus 7 x. I'm applying the distributive property here. Minus times minus is plus 7 times 3 is 21 because I want the equation in the standard form so first of all I'll collect the constants together so y equals minus 7x plus 21 plus 5 which gives y equals minus 7x plus 26 I'll bring this y on the other side so I have minus 7x minus y plus 26 equals 0. When we write the equation in the standard form, we express it in the form of ax plus by plus c equals 0. But I prefer to make this a positive, so I'll multiply the whole equation by minus 1. I'm multiplying the whole equation by minus 1 this side and minus 1 this side. So this becomes minus times minus becomes 7x, minus times minus again plus y, plus times minus minus 26 equals 0. This is the equation in the standard form with the given information. Suppose you have another question with another information which says you have x1, y1 given as 2, 11 and you have y-intercept y-intercept that is c9 now y-intercept itself means the value of x is 0 because it is a point on y-axis so the value of x is 0 so y-intercept is nothing but 0 9 so you have two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 with you now, because you have two points straight away, you can use the equation of the two-point form and also if you want the equation, write the equation in standard form again. Write the equation in standard form. So, your equation is given by y minus y1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. So I'll substitute the value of x1, y1 and x2, y2. x1 is 2, x2 is 0, y1 is 11 and y2 is 9. If I put these values here, so I have y minus y1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. So y minus 11 equals minus 2 over minus 2 x minus 2. These two values cancel each other. So you have y minus 1 equals 1 times x minus 2. So I'll take both the values on the other side. I have x minus 2 minus y plus 1 equals 0. So x minus y minus 2 plus 1 being constants, they can be solved together. So x minus y minus 1 equals 0 is the equation in the standard form with the given information. Moreover, I was curious to know about the slope and intercept of the lines parallel to x and y axis. If I talk about a line parallel to x axis, parallel to x-axis because this line is making a zero angle with the x-axis so for such lines for the lines parallel to x-axis for the lines parallel to x-axis the slope is zero similarly if I talk about the lines parallel to y-axis the lines parallel to y-axis slope is nothing but the tangent of the angle because this angle is 90 degree so slope m for the lines parallel to y-axis for the lines 
parallel to y-axis. M is given by 10 of 90 degree and we consider it undefined. So the slopes of the line parallel to x-axis is 0 and the slopes of the line parallel to y-axis is considered undefined.